Hi, I'm Brandon Carroll. I'm joined by Vince Burke. In this video, we're talking about SSL interception. And you know, Vince, we've been talking about how to optimize traffic between our sites. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, in, in, in the past, sometimes we'd maybe do firewalls and our firewalls would do a tunnel and then our traffic would go through it. But our applications are doing encryption for us now. And when they do that, those tricks that we've talked about in the other videos, on optimizing traffic, they don't work. It doesn't work anymore. So what do we do? Well, we have a way to deal with this. Um, uh, most applications now are using uh, SSL or TLS, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, HTTPS to uh, establish a connection with the, with the backend server. Yep. Now, uh, as you're aware, we have talked about steelhead on one end, yep. a connection to our data center or the cloud, a steelhead on the other end, yep. and I have my client here. This is a laptop. There, yep. laptop, yep. Um, and an application server, right? So let's let's uh, make it a www. There you go, and the database. Um, what we do, one of the things we do to optimize this traffic, is we allow the client to connect out, and the steelhead is going to reduce the turns by establishing essentially the TCP connection locally with, uh, with my laptop. Yeah. In fact, my laptop is not even aware that it is talking to the local steelhead and not directly to the end server. Now, the steelheads use their optimization protocols, and they once again um, establish the back and forth uh, TCP um, handshake with um, the web server. So what you get here, Brendan, is you get your, your SYN, SYNAC, ACK happening locally. And you get the exact same SYN, SYN act, act happening between the steelhead and web server. Now, what happens if this uh, uh, connection is encrypted, right? Yep. Um, we essentially do exactly the same thing. Okay. The uh, SYN, SYN act, act is um, uh, performed um, from the laptop's perspective with the cloud server. Uh, however, it is with the local steelhead. Okay. Um, what happens is the laptop is going to establish a fully encrypted TLS session with the steelhead, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the steelhead on the other end is creating a fully encrypted uh, connection with the server you're speaking with. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about how this works, um, but I first want to mention that the channel between the steelheads is obviously fully encrypted with strong encryption as well. Okay, so it's encrypt here, mm -hmm. encrypt here, and encrypt here. Exactly. Okay. Now, one thing you may notice is that when I am speaking with my specific service in the data center or in the cloud, that it will issue a certificate. Mm -hmm. This certificate will sign um, uh, the communication and is used to, um, to encrypt it. However, uh, the laptop uh, will be confused when it gets a certificate from the steelhead here. Yep. Now, the way this is done is when you join a corporate network, you are generally given a certificate um, which acts as a certificate authority mm -hmm. uh, for the corporate network. Uh, this is very similar or exactly the same, in fact, as a, a next generation firewall yep. does, they all do right? It. Yep. They all do it. Yep. Um, however, the difference is, is that uh, with Steelhead, uh, the uh, certificate will obviously only intercept the traffic for the end service that you have agreed you will go and establish optimization for. Okay. All right. Now, the certificate lives on the server side steelhead and is used to uh, create a new certificate that is accepted um, uh, for that communication by the client. So essentially, just in summary, um, the client still believes that we are speaking uh, completely privately with the service. Mm -hmm. um, however, the encrypted connection is established with the server on the server side steelhead. Yep. Um, optimization happens. On the other end, the optimization happens and a, a encrypted um, connection is established um, with the client. Okay. So that's how we do it. Perfect. All right. So we still have that encryption through the whole path. This works nicely because we can take that traffic, hit the steelhead, and now those tricks work. And all of our optimization technology still works there we go. with a fully encrypted connection to the end service. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you join us in another video.